After a day of hearing about the city's financial challenges and budget projections, the City Council chose its priorities for the coming fiscal year, which begins July 1st. The City Manager and staff will focus on goals that match those priorities. It's a diff difficult um, balancing act, trying to, to match up, um, on one hand, the, the strategy and, and the goal of you know, fiscal sustainability, and on the other hand, there are important projects in the community um, that we need to look at, whether they're arts and culture projects, or whether they're parks and recs projects. But I think some of those are small enough um, that you can carve out a little bit um, to continue to develop those community projects, while at the same time, long term, you're looking at beginning to set aside funds for those other issues. The council priorities include five from last year and one new priority. Their financial management, economic development, public safety, arts, culture, and special events, senior news services, and accessibility. They also included um, a new priority that we recommended in looking at some of the long-term issues that we have with um, unfunded liabilities, um, some of the debt that we have, and, and really gave us um, the direction to begin to develop strategies for, for those issues. Klinger has been at his new job for more than eight months now. He's been analyzing the city's current financial situation, and he has a strategic plan for financial stability. One of the things he is doing to save money is moving community development to City Hall, so the building on Sinclair Street can be sold. He's looking at better managing other assets as well. The most immediate hurdle is a shortfall in the budget for the coming fiscal year, which was reported to be $7 million. I wouldn't say it's totally accurate at this point to say we have um, a $7 million shortfall. You know, that's if we do certain things um, and if we set, you know, building back reserves as a, as a priority, as a specific example. And, and I don't, I'm not saying that that was, you know, an issue um, that council got wrong because that is how we presented it but I think we need to have a detailed discussion on the budget before we really come out and say well the shortfall is is seven million dollars I don't think though as part of that that we're gonna have um, you know layoffs of city employees now what I do want to look at and, and what you know we've talked about is are there ways where we can streamline um, and be more efficient you know are there areas um, you know, wh where we can, um, you know, look at potentially the way we're doing business and the way we're structured. And so I don't want to say that there wouldn't be, um, you know, it's not like we would not eliminate any positions, but I wouldn't characterize it as layoffs. It's more of us examining the organization internally and saying, are we operating in the most efficient manner? And if there are areas where we're not, um, does that involve eliminating positions? Klinger will be directing more than a thousand employees to provide core services and meet the council's goals, while he also takes some bold steps towards financial stability.